Well, thank you all for coming out. Um, I thought it'd be a good idea to uh, meet today and talk a little bit about the bipartisan infrastructure bill that we just passed in Congress. And it, um, we heard a lot about it. It was, uh, it was much more uh, media controversial than it probably needed to be. Uh, there was a lot of coverage on it and how long it took. And you know, I just uh, want to point out that that's the legislative process. And uh, it takes time to negotiate and to, to move things through. If we had uh, more legislators in, in Washington and fewer provocateurs, uh, it would probably go a little quicker and wouldn't be quite as messy. Uh, but nonetheless, it's done. Uh, it's it's been signed into law, and it's going to be important to the country, it's going to be important to our state, and it's going to be important to uh, to Lake County. And there will be, you'll hear from a few people today, uh, the chair of the Board of Supervisors, uh, Bruno, Bruno Sabatier, uh, Lake County Supervisor Tina Scott, the, uh, the CAO of uh, Lake County, Carol Hutchinson. Uh, the superintendent of schools, Brock Falkenberg, and uh, public works director, Scott DeLeon, could tell you a little bit about uh, any of the specifics. And we're, we're meeting today at this bridge that is the recipient of, uh, of an investment. This was a bridge that was in trouble, it was, uh, was having problems, and because we're able to invest in the infrastructure here, uh, we've got a good, safe bridge uh, that uh, not only created a, a, cell, a safe transportation uh, corridor, but also uh, created some economic activity uh, in Lake County. The, the neat thing about uh, investment in infrastructure is it's money that goes uh, into important infrastructure that will last a long time and that generates both a tax base locally and uh, local jobs. The uh, the bipartisan infrastructure bill, or the BIF as it's known, uh, will mean about $25 billion, actually over $25 billion uh, for highway investment in California. And one area that, that I've heard a lot about from all of the counties in our district is the $4.2 billion for bridge funding. And uh, that's another reason why we're here, because it's important to emphasize how important bridges are uh, in our overall infrastructure plan. But every county in our district has has bridges uh, that need to be updated, need to be repaired, need to be enhanced. So this is going to be important. Uh, there's also uh, about $10 billion that will come for public transportation. And even a rural community such as Lake County has public transportation needs. And uh, this is going to be uh, important. And then one that's near and dear to me is that California will get $100 million dollars uh, to invest in broadband because of this legislation. And after we've gone through the shutdowns with COVID, I think it's become even more apparent how important an investment in infrastructure is. One of the things that we, we uh, passed in one of the original COVID relief bills uh, was a bill of mine uh, that expanded telemedicine. It allowed folks who are in uh, Medicare to be able to get health care through telemedicine so they'd be able to uh, do it from the safety and the comfort of their home. And uh, and this is, it proved incredibly uh, successful. And all of the hospitals saw an uptick in their uh, telemedicine delivery. Uh, patients loved it. They got safe, uh, good, safe care. And uh, and they want to keep doing it. But what what, what was really apparent was uh, if you live in an area with broadband, you had access to better health care services than someone who didn't. Uh, we saw the same thing in regard to distance learning. Uh, when kids were uh, home uh, and, and relied on the internet in order to get their education, if you lived in an area with with poor uh, with with poor broadband, uh, you you were disadvantaged in regard to uh, the edu quality of education vis-a-vis -vis someone in an area that had good broadband. So, a hundred million dollars uh, is going to be money well spent in making sure that everyone uh, is uh, included uh, in uh, in access to uh, uh, to uh, to broadband. So with that, I think I'd like to just uh, call on some of the uh, experts, the people on the ground that uh, are going to see this money uh, put into place and, uh, and will be uh, in charge of uh, making sure these projects get, uh, uh, get done. So Bruno, I'm going to ask you to come up and tell them how it is. 
Thank you very much, Congressman. Um, the infrastructure bill is exciting. Uh, there are so many needs here in Lake County, and I'm going to highlight one of the needs that I think that we were all kind of forced to recognize and need, and that's broadband. Uh, as the Congressman mentioned, COVID-19 kind of said hello to the 21st century and forced us to embrace it. Uh, but we weren't ready, uh, and we need to be ready. Lake County happens to be the first county in the state of California to have a master broadband plan. We are well positioned, better positioned than any other county in the state to move forward in order to get access to these funds. We are working right now with our local ISPs to create projects and be prepared to say we're ready. Give us the money. Money. Broadband is important for many reasons. It is what energizes an economy. If you can't access and communicate to your clients, there's nothing you can sell to them. And when you're being closed down, when you're being limited in what you can access and provide, you need to have that level of communication. So jobs, we need people to work remotely here in California. We need our businesses to be successful. Education, we need our students, not just K through 12, to have access to their teachers and their schools, but we need them to have access to universities. And we can do that right here from home without having to access a special facility. When it comes to safety, our emergency services need to have the best communication, not only between themselves, but with the public. Broadband is the key to all of these things, and we are ready, we are prepared, and we are continuing to work hard so we can access those funds when it's ready. So thank you very much for the infrastructure bill, and thank you very much, Congressman. I'll let you introduce the next story. And the next person to speak to you is Lake County Supervisor for District 4, Tina Scott. Thank you. I would just like to thank Congressman Thompson for always thinking about Lake County. Infrastructure is large, and it's very exciting that Lake County is ready with shovel-ready projects. Um, we're ready to fix our roads. Um, you have to look around our county. We've already um, implemented many of these bridge projects. Um, we jumped on that. Um, I'm very excited about our full circle project with our sewer to help minimize some of the runoff that goes into our lakes with, um, with the sewer. So I'm just really excited about this infrastructure projects that coming through Lake County. We are ready, shovel ready, and um, thank you again, Congressman Thompson. You can introduce Carol. And I would like to introduce Carol Hutchinson, the CAO of Lake County. Thank you. So it's truly a time of extraordinary opportunity for Lake County. I, I've never seen anything like what we're about to undertake in all of my years with the county. Um, this infrastructure bill is extraordinary, and having Mike in our corner all these years um, is, is just, we just couldn't be better served by an elected official than we are by Mike. He knows our needs. He's in touch with us constantly. He and his staff are, and we're so grateful. Um, this uh, bill, which uh, my counterpart, Mr. DeLeon, will speak to a little more specifically um, is one of those tremendous opportunities, as is our receipt of the American Rescue Plan Act uh, funds, um, bringing uh, untold monies to Lake County to move forward with many of our issues and needs. So again, couldn't be more grateful. And so with that, I'll turn it over to Brock Falkenberg, our superintendent of schools. Well, I too am very much looking forward to this infrastructure bill and seeing the details, particularly around broadband that is coming to this county. The promise in the bill is that everyone in the United States should have access to broadband. And broadband really has become a basic utility over the last several years, decades. Um, we knew well before COVID that broadband or the lack of broadband was impacting our children's education. Children who have access to broadband have access to learning resources that children who do not have broadband um, lack. COVID simply highlighted the fact that we have this extreme need. Um, it highlighted the fact that there is rural discrimination that occurs because of the cost of providing services in rural and remote areas. So again, I look forward and I thank you to providing broadband for all children in Lake County. You can introduce Scott. I'd like to introduce Scott DeLeon, the Director of Public Works for the County of Lake. Good afternoon. Um, I'm pleased to provide the visual aid component of today's uh, meeting. I, and I'm really glad I brought this because what this does is it really illustrates um, how we've used the money and, and why this is important. Um, and I, and I encourage all of you to come and take a little closer look at this. Uh, the bridge that you'll see here 
is um, uh, this bridge behind you replaced this bridge. This bridge was built in 1961. That, that's the original bridge. It was constructed in 1961, and, and most bridges uh, of that vintage was, was made out of timber. Uh, the fact that it lasted uh, 55 years is, is remarkable. Certainly it was never designed for that age. Uh, when you look at this, you'll notice that we have had to put uh, delineators in the pavement to bring the paved, the, the paved section or the travel section down to one lane because the bridge was rotting on the outside edges and it was incapable of, of carrying traffic loads. Uh, without the federal funding, uh, this, that bridge that you see in this picture would never have been replaced. We just don't have the local funds to be able to do projects like this. And so we were very excited to utilize a federal program called the HBP program to replace that structure with what you see here today. Uh, the other thing as I was getting, as I was standing here, I noticed uh, my crews chip sealed this road uh, this summer. Uh, and so again, you'll notice the road and its condition versus what it looks like today. Uh, part of the uh, bipartisan bill that was signed, uh, there was an earmark in there for some uh, chip seal. Uh, we're hopeful that it's still there uh, and uh, it will result in uh, quite a bit of money uh, to a chip seal program for a countywide uh, chip seal program. So Congressman Thompson, uh, I'll also echo everyone's comments and thank you again for your continued support of Lake County. Scott, can you give us any idea as to uh, what this meant to the local economy and jobs? Well, sure. I, you know, I, I was trying to recall who the contractor was. I believe it was Granite Construction uh, that that built this structure. Uh, the concrete was sourced locally. Uh, the asphalt was sourced locally. Uh, so uh, you had uh, you had a lot of. I mean, it was, probably close to a million dollar construction project here and, and a lot of it, uh, both materials and, and uh, labor went to, to local folks. Well, thank you all very much. And you know, that's what it's all about. It's investing in our infrastructure, investing in our uh, future. And you, know, you heard directly as to what it means for the local economy, jobs, and the local tax base. So this is a, a good bill. Uh, these projects, money for these projects is going to start rolling out uh, immediately. And all it means is uh, great things for our country and for our state and for our county. So thank you. And if anybody has any questions, uh, one of these guys can answer them. <laughs> <laughs> Congressman Thompson, I have a question about how many bridges in Lake County, this is probably for Scott, what's your bridge inventory looking like and how many bridges uh, need repair um, you know, or replacement. So Scott, we Scott have, could you repeat the question? So the question, yeah, the question was how many bridges do we have that, um, and I'm going to speak, I'm going to modify your question just a little bit. Okay. And um, we have 122 bridges in Lake County. Uh, the the highway bridge program, which is a federally funded program, uh, has uh, certain requirements. Uh, the road the, the bridge is on, uh, its sufficiency rating, there's, there's a number of factors that go into that. We have, uh, at one time we had 20 to 22 bridges in that program. Uh, we've uh, rebuilt at least six or seven of them. We have a couple that uh, uh, the engineering plans are completed and we're waiting on funding and uh, the rest of the structures are in uh, various phases of design. Scott, can you list a few of the shovel-ready projects that uh, Bruno mentioned? Sure, we have um, a pedestrian project in uh, Kelseville on Canocti Road. Uh, we have uh, two bridge projects, and I, I apologize, I can get you the exact locations, but we have two bridges that we're working on uh, that are basically ready to go and we're waiting on, on funding. Um, we have a project uh, for the reconstruction of the Niesel Stern cutoff uh, intersection with Highway 29 and, and uh, Lakeshore. Those are the, the ones that are ready to go. Thank you all very much.